What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you another episode of my Let's Play. This is going to be a trading episode. Now, you probably won't see it because I don't think I'm going to show you, but I did stock up on a lot of rare golds last week in anticipation of EA dropping UCL SBCs, which they did not, unfortunately. So I ended up taking a little bit of a loss. I bought the rare golds for 700, discarded them for like 648 coins. So yeah, I did take an L with that one, but this one... I've made some good profit. Uh, well, okay, I've took another L with Kane. Uh, I've bought him for about 25,000 and he's literally 26,000. So that was a poor investment on my part. But the one that isn't a poor investment is Marcus Lorente. I've bought these for roughly about 3,000, some of them 3,300, some of them 2,800, but around about that, a couple of them, very small minority of them, have been bought for 2,000 coins. And the reason I did this is because I knew he was getting a um, foot, uh, sorry, a oh, bloody hell, what do you call it? A rule breakers card. So he was out of packs. Also, there was a fatty SBC as well as an Anarchy Williams SBC. So I thought he would rise, and he has. He's literally went up to 5.1k. So I've uh, done the maths. On average, I've bought 87 Marcus Laurentes. Actually, make that. 89 because there's two in my club one's a ucl one so we'll say 89 so I'll, I'll amend my little calculations here but um yeah so i've bought we'll round it up to 90 uh 90 marcus Lorentes for 275 uh 70 000, 3k a pop and i've managed to sell them when i do but i'll, I'll show you me selling them for 5.1k um, for a combined total if i add that on it's 436 thousand giving me a profit margin of about 166 slash 167 thousand coins and that's literally just having them sat on my trade pile you'll have seen in videos i've made that um yeah they've, they've literally just been sat here and that's because i have been holding them uh, to invest and i've got my next player that i'm ready to invest in as well but i'm just going to list these off camera because i know it's boring as hell and we'll be back when they sell just to confirm that yeah i have made about 170 thousand no, they're selling now. You can see them selling. Um, but yeah, and I'll explain when to buy, uh, who I'm buying next, and also, yeah, when to sell. Right, so as you can see, we have managed to sell the Marcus Laurentes for literally four, uh, 5,100, for most of them anyway. As you can see, some of them were bids. Uh, there was one that had a Hunter Chem style on that I tried to sell for a little bit more. There it is. Six and a half thousand. I know it says basic now, but that's because it got bought. And yeah, someone did actually pay that. So yeah, we, we've made a massive profit on Marcus Laurentiis, almost 200k profit as well as, well, we broke even on canes or lost a couple of k per cane pretty much. Yeah, through tax, we'd have lost about... 750 coins per card so that's seven and a half grand down the shitter for Kane. but uh yeah we, we've got uh, two more that i found <laughs> uh in the club so we'll sell them as well so that that is a big win but the main uh thing now is who am i going to buy for this week now the leaks had richarlison and he didn't appear this week so my understanding is that he will be getting a card don't take this as gospel but i imagine he will be getting a card and uh yeah he will be in team two so i'm gonna buy literally 100 or well, we'll say 90 so i've got a couple of trade spots left but i'm gonna buy um 90 of these richarlison's he's really cheap anyway and considering he's very meta uh, i don't think it's gonna be too much of a high risk thing i can't see him going too much lower uh, even if he isn't in the team so you know this could be a big L I'm taking a risk because I have no confirmed information that says Richarlison is in team two there was just a lot of leaks last week that had him in the team so I imagine you know he will be in at some point uh, we've missed out on the Hunter one which is a little bit annoying but anyhow I'll be back once I've got around about 90 Richarlison's Right, so I have completed that. Uh, I've bought 90 Richarlison's or 91 plus one in the club, which is 92. So yeah, I've bought them for, th oh no, actually there's two Laurentiis there. So yeah, I've bought 89 <laughs> Richarlison's in that uh, aspect then. And they're literally all between 4,000 and 3,800 coins. So 
yeah I'll, I'll just show you here they're literally there so yeah i, I think it's a relatively low risk uh, method because if i look on footbin now let's have a quick look here um and see what his price graph is i can show you actually on video once i've uh, searched him i will change it to there we go um, want to give it a go if it doesn't work it doesn't work but yeah it's a high risk trading method so you know i could potentially lose a lot of coins but on the other hand i could make a lot so high risk high reward anyhow hopefully i've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace